with Corn Cobb Piper coming at you. It is uh, Thursday evening. Hope everybody's uh, having a good end to their week. Um, wanted to do a uh, video tonight. Uh, first off, to show off my uh, newest pipe. So, as some of you have seen this past uh, winter, I had ordered up a bunch of Missouri Meerschaum uh, seconds as well as some pipe mod um, items and I got started on it um, towards the end of winter uh, beginning of spring and then I uh, got busy with life and then it got hit uh, with a early summer down here in southwest Florida and this has been the most brutal summer since I've been down here uh, for six years it's really like a hundred degrees every single day and um, just terrible, terrible humidity. So I haven't been able to get out in the garage to actually finish them, uh, but I did manage to uh, get out there and finish one, and I wanted to show it to you tonight. So here is my first attempt uh, at a, a cob mod. So I've stained the um, Rob Roy Legend. Um, I've built a deer antler tip shank and then uh, added a uh, nice swirled Bakelite stem to this. I also, I don't know if you can see that, uh, dr drilled out the bottom of the pipe and added a hardwood plug. Uh, so I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, not too shabby for my, my first attempt. I probably could have done a little better in some areas, but overall I am quite happy with this thing. Um, my, my plan is hopefully this winter to start building a bunch of these and make them, some of them anyway, uh, available for sale. So keep an eye out for that as well. And, uh, also wanted to do for the first smoke in here, a first impression of, uh, Tim's Oriental Dreams. Uh, this comes compliments of, uh, Tim, the Wharf Valley Boy. It's one of his own blends. I'll go ahead and try and post the link to his video of him making this stuff. Uh, but it is a combination of um, Turkish, uh, Bright Virginia, Latakia, and uh, Parikh. So for the, the bag note on this, and this is my first time smoking it. Just now when I opened the bag, I got hit immediately with the smokiness from the Latakia. Definitely pick up some tanginess from the Turkish, as well as the Perique. And then there's a dark fruit smell uh, similar to, I would say a cross between plum and raisin that I'm getting this. And then a slight grassiness from the Virginia. I know there's quite a bit of Virginia in here, uh, but it, you know, it doesn't really carry through as much as the other stuff, at least on the uh, pouch note. So, I've gone ahead and pulled this out, and it is a little bit on the moist side for my liking. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and show you what it looks like. Pause the video, let it dry for about 15 minutes, and then I'm going to come back and uh, I'll give you my first impression of the actual uh, smoke. So for, just to let you guys see what this tobacco looks like. Nice, just beautiful ribbons, uh, all very, very nice and uniform size, real thin cut. Uh, this should smoke fairly good, and I'm definitely looking forward to trying it. Uh, like I said, just give me, well, for you guys, it'll be instantaneous, but for me, it's going to be 15 minutes, and I'll be right back. So I am back, YouTube. Uh, I went ahead and waited around 15 minutes, which was the perfect amount of dry time. for this tobacco, uh, lit it up, charring light on um, probably a quarter of the way. Through the bowl and I am really so far quite enjoying your blend Tim. Uh, really is a, a wonderful mix that you made up here. So the base of this tobacco is really um, Turkish and Virginia. 
which I find that carries through the most uh, taste-wise for me. Um, not a lot of sweetness from the Virginia. Uh, I would call this more of a, a savory tobacco than I would a sweet tobacco, uh, which is quite enjoyable. A Cobb Mod smoking pretty well too. So from the um, the Virginias, I pick up definitely a lot of grassy hay-like notes. Uh, there's also a slight citrus taste to it. Which is quite nice. Um, and then definitely you get the Turkish as well. The Oriental, uh, you get that, that pungent tartness, uh, sourness that the Orientals are known for. And I really love that effect that they have on the tobacco. Uh, I quite enjoy that tangy sourness uh, that you get from them. So this is definitely named correctly as Oriental Dreams because like I said, that sourness definitely, definitely carries through in each puff. Uh, because of the amount of Virginia in here, I would say this is a blend that you need to sip and not just puff away at like a chimney, um, or you probably would end up maybe with some tongue bite. As I'm getting a little bit farther down the bowl now, the Virginias are starting to sweeten up a little bit more. So now I'm getting a savoriness as well as a little bit of a sweetness. The Latakia in here, there is just enough to let you know um, that it's, you know, that it's in there. With each and every puff, you get that little, you know, that um, smokiness definitely in the background. I would say the Latakia is a little bit more uh, condimental in here, um, which I prefer. I'm not a Latakia bomb type of guy. While, while I do enjoy uh, Latakia, um, I enjoy it mostly in moderation. And then, uh, you know, last but not le least, um, there is just enough Perique in here uh, to give you that subtle spiciness and dark fruit-like uh, flavor um, in the background as well. So, do a test here. I don't normally retrohale on Perique blends. Because I don't like the way it tickles my nose. So I just retrohaled and I get that a little bit, uh, but it's not that intense. Now I'm used to Louisiana Perique. I know Tim got this, this Perique in the UK and their Perique is a little bit different than ours over here in the US. Where ours I think is more peppery and uh, spicy, like black pepper spicy. The Perique, the UK Perique is different in a way. Still get a little bit of that black pepperness, but really I think what it brings to the table is that dark fruit like prune or raisin, raisiny uh, kind of taste. And I just, uh, I love, I love the way the tartness comes through uh, so strong in this blend. Really, really, you did a great job, Tim. Uh, this is going to be one uh, that I'm definitely going to look forward to smoking, um, you know, on a regular basis. Uh, once again, I'm going to post the video to uh, uh, that Tim did of him actually mixing this up. Definitely one that I would recommend you try making yourself. It really, really is quite a... Uh, a delicious mixture here. I'm going to go finish my bowl, relax a little bit, and uh, get to bed soon. I've actually opened up the whole um, bag now, and I'm going to dry this for maybe an hour or two uh, before I jar it up. Uh, I prefer my tobacco is a little bit on the drier side. I would say more so dry than most people. Uh, but once this uh, whole 
whole pile here gets to the consistency that I like, I'm going to go ahead and put this in a jar and uh, mix this up into my, uh, you know, regular rotation because really, really is quite a delicious blend. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, you know, make sure if you haven't already done so, head over to Tim's channel, give him a sub. Let me know what you think about my, my Cobb mod. Also, I'm interested to hear your thoughts. Uh, should I have done anything different or, you know, tried something different? Because I'm definitely looking, you know, if I can make some kind of improvements on these in the future. Definitely would be happy for the input. So, as always, you too. Keep on piping.